Well, good evening on Thursday and uh, welcome to this little evening prayer and uh, devotional uh, thought uh, from John chapter 15 this evening. Uh, but a verse from Isaiah chapter 43 to start us off it says, Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Isaiah 43 verse 5, wonderful promise. Do not be afraid, for I am with you, God says. So, O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Some words of introduction. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And we pause briefly just to reflect on the day that's now coming to an end. And so as our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and to set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Well, I'm going to read uh, the passage of, um, from the New Testament that's appointed for uh, evening prayer this evening. John 15 verses 1 to 8. I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Remain in me and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit showing yourselves to be my disciples. Well, remain in me. You can't miss it. Can you repeat it again and again? That's uh, the big idea in those uh, verses. And um, after uh, last week um, with uh, the children off school and uh, trying to have a bit more time uh, uh, together and not working, we have quite a pile uh, in our garden of branches uh, and bits of greenery that um, are slowly becoming less green and they're all piled up uh, waiting for when the tip opens again and um, I imagine the queue will be long with lots of people similarly uh, wanting to go. I had an email today from another vicar, um, I, I won't say who, local vicar. Uh, apparently he's got 12 one-ton bags full um, of greenery, those big, uh, those big uh, bags that you can get ready to go. Uh, so he's been busier in the garden uh, than I have. But it makes the point, doesn't it? These um, piles of um, uh, waste, uh, garden waste that we've got makes the point of our passage for us that Jesus wants branches that bear fruit, branches connected to him, branches that bear fruit. And to bear fruit, you have to stay connected to him. You have to remain as part of the plant, part of the vine. It's a vine picture here. Jesus says, I'm the true vine. My father is the gardener. Listen to verse six again. He says, if anyone does not remain in me, he's like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up and thrown into the fire and burned. The branches in the corner of our garden, they're, they're good for nothing now. They've been uh, disconnected from their source of life, their source of um, nutrients, their source of um, uh, uh, water and uh, all the goodness that comes up through the roots, through the plant, along the branches. Um, so how do we stay, if, if this is all a picture of being connected to Jesus and bearing fruit in him, how, how do we stay connected to Jesus just at the moment? Um, aren't we disconnected? I mean, we're disconnected from each other. How do we um, stay connected uh, to Jesus just now? Well, I'm sure, like me, you are missing being together. Uh, we're missing gathering, aren't we, on the Lord's Day and uh, other times. Sundays, they, they just don't feel the same. We may watch the service, but, but it's not the same, is it? And um, uh, we miss uh, seeing each other. We miss 
being uh, with you. Uh, we miss you certainly and we long uh, to see you and to be with you and to be able to gather. And, and for many of us, I guess Sunday particularly, uh, and rightly so as it comes around week by week, is a key time, isn't it, for us in our relationship with Jesus, for, for perhaps getting close to Jesus again, uh, feeling close at least to Jesus again uh, at the start of a new week on the Lord's Day. Uh, and the Lord has given us, hasn't he, various means of grace uh, that we particularly benefit from as we gather on Sundays. The, the very fact that, that we gather uh, together and we can remind each other, talk to each other uh, and uh, uh, spur each other on to stick with Jesus. As we pray together, asking him to help us to stick with Jesus. Uh, as we read the Bible and get the encouragement there, uh, hearing his words. As we sing songs that point us to the Lord Jesus and spur us on, psalms, hymns and, and spiritual songs that encourage us to keep walking with the Lord. And as we take bread and wine as well, as we remember uh, Jesus' death, remember his presence with us uh, and proclaim his death until he comes, we, we miss all of that, don't we? And how we long, oh, how we long for the day when, what a great celebration day it will be when we are, whenever it is, whenever uh, we're able to be together again. But as much as we miss uh, gathering physically and as much as we miss sharing um, bread and wine physically, uh, as much as we miss the spiritual benefits of, of doing all those things, of having our hearts encouraged and our faith bolstered, it is wonderfully and gloriously true, isn't it, that we are joined to Jesus by trusting him, simply by trusting him. And there be maybe lots about our worship, uh, our communion with the Lord, our walk with him just now that, that feels diminished in, in some ways. And, and certainly that is the case and uh, watching a service uh, on uh, the screen, uh, hearing a sermon on the screen, it's, it's not the same, is it? Maybe perhaps you're feeling further from the Lord Jesus at the moment. But listen to verse seven. Jesus says, if you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. That's not to say gathering together in church are not vitally important but a wonderful promise from Jesus if you remain in me stick close to me he says if my words remain in you and that wonderful intimate picture of, of prayer whatever you ask it will be given to you it's a promise of closeness isn't it a promise of intimacy uh, even though we can't meet and even though uh, we may feel further from the Lord Jesus a promise of intimacy he says remain in me uh, well are you talking to Jesus each day are you giving time each day for his uh, word to dwell in you. Jesus says, if my words remain uh, in you, you will remain in me. Let me urge you to do those things, to find uh, ways for Jesus' words to remain in you each day, that we might stick close to him, that we meet, might keep walking uh, with him. And uh, we remember, don't we, that promise, Isaiah captures it for us, Isaiah 43 verse five, do not be afraid. God says, I am with you. And Jesus himself, he reiterated that, didn't he? The end of Matthew's gospel, behold, I am with you always, Jesus says, even to the very end of the age. Indeed, he makes his home in us. Jesus makes his home in us by his spirit. What a glorious, wonderful truth. Uh, friends, brothers and sisters, dear people, stick close to Jesus in these days. Can I pray? that we would not be like the branches uh, out in the vicarage garden, just lying there waiting to get um, bagged up and taken uh, to the dump. They won't bear fruit. They're not connected to anything. Stay connected to the vine, stay connected to Jesus, that in him we might bear much fruit, which Jesus says is to my Father's glory. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Well, let me pray that for us. Our Father God here, Jesus uh, exhorts us, encourages us to stick close to him, to remain in him. Remain, remain is the repeated word in these verses, to abide, uh, all the translations have. Father, would uh, you help us in these unusual times to abide, to keep abiding, to remain and to stick close to Jesus? Would you help us to find times and ways that work for us to have your word, Jesus' words, dwelling in us? Would you help us to encourage each other and spur each other on? that your word might be dwelling in us. And our Father, when we feel far from you, uh, and when the Lord Jesus feels uh, distant, uh, we pray that you'd encourage us uh, and help us to keep going and help us to look to you. 
Now, Father, we continue to lift up to you our nation, our leaders, uh, those who are uh, working so hard to care for others, those who are working hard to come up with um, a solution, a vaccine. Uh, Father, we uh, long that these days would come to an end quickly. But we pray for as long as you cause us to be unable to meet together. Uh, would you, Father, keep each of us trusting in you? Thank you for Jesus' precious promise to be with us always, even to the end of the age. Thank you for his promise too, that he would lose none of those that you, Father, have given to him. May we cling to these precious promises, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray the collect uh, for today, St George's Day. God of hosts who so kindled the flame of love in the heart of your servant George, that he bore witness to the risen Lord by his life and by his death, Give us the same faith and power of love that we who rejoice in his triumphs may come to share with him the fullness of resurrection through Jesus Christ, your son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, I thought it would be good uh, this evening to say the Lord's Prayer. So rejoicing in God's new creation as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So some words of conclusion. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And may the risen Lord Jesus bless us, may he watch over us and keep us. <laughs>